my sweet and patient Owlets. Thank you so much for being patient with me and my uploads. Happy New Year. Happy 2020. It's a new year, a new decade, and you know, a chance to try new things. This year, I really want to focus on improving my art and trying new art mediums. So when Arteza reached out to me to send me some of their products to review, I was super down. I have always wanted to try some like professional art markers. I don't have any markers besides, you know, like <laughs> kid markers. So I was so excited to try these. They sent me the 60 Everblend art markers. I have not opened it yet. I just took it out of the packaging. So that I, that is just something I'm super into, like super excited about. And they also sent me, sorry about the glare, but they sent me the real brush pens, the 48 pack. Um, I will be doing a separate video for each. So this video is gonna focus on the markers just because that is what I'm most excited about. I am just, oh my God, super excited. Um, so I'm gonna be trying them out. I'm gonna be coloring a picture that I drew um, in preparation for this. And just letting you guys know ahead of time that yes, they did send it to me. And I do have some affiliate links in the description below. So I'll talk about that more later on. We're going to focus on how the markers work. So yeah, let's just get onto the review. Just want to let you guys know I'm going to be as honest as possible. Just because they did send them to me um, does not mean I'm going to like <laughs> sugarcoat anything. So yeah. Let's just open these guys up. I don't want to break this thing. It's so pretty. All right, so it comes in this case right here. Um, so far, I'm liking it. I do like how convenient that is. Ooh, got some tough Velcro. And <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh, it's so many, like, more markers than I know what to do with. Oh, you can, like, undo it here as well on the sides. Ooh. Whoa, okay. So these are all the markers they give you on the, what is the 68 pack? Oh gosh, uh, oh, 60 pack. Sorry, it's a 60 pack. I do like all of the colors they gave. Um, oh God, I can't stop looking at the pinks. So you guys know how I feel about pink. A lot of blues. Ooh, all these gray tones. You can unfold it like this. Ooh, so it's like better to see. And the pens are this triangle shape. They have... What is that? The name of the color and the code for that. And they have two different pen tips. Um, this is more of a, what is this called? Like a chiseled? Is that what it's called? You know what I'm talking about. You know the shape I'm talking about. And they have this like fine point or finer point. There we go. Why did I choose yellow? I like yellow. It's fine. Ooh, and they give you some extra space to buy more markers. They do have, um, because, you know, while looking at this, I did notice a lot of bright colors, not too many. There's a few desaturated colors. These are more like pastel. Um, there's not a lot of skin tones here. Not a lot of like, um, what is it, like peach maybe. And, you know, maybe this hazelnut brown, maybe this dark chocolate. But um, not a lot of skin tones. They do have a skin tone pack as well as a grayscale pack. Um, so, I mean, you can buy those as well. But, you know. Not a lot of skin tone choices here, but I still love the colors, like, eh. You know, I like, I choose brighter colors over any color any day, I'm so, oof. cool, cool, cool. Okay, so, um, not too much to say on the packaging, except that I do like it, it's very convenient. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try them out, and then I'm gonna color this piece that I drew a couple days ago. Oh, one thing I forgot to point out about this package is that it does come with some swatches. Oh my god, I cannot figure out oh, where the... <laughs> there it is. Kind of not really in the center of the screen, but there's some swatches here of all of the colors. I do recommend making your own swatches. I feel like, um, you know, you can only be so accurate with printed out swatches like this. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was really cool. I will keep those. Oh, <laughs> oh and there's a pocket here. What's this pocket for? Ah, oh, no. Tight pocket, though. So I'm going to be trying them out first, you know, figuring out how they work before I actually start coloring with them. As you know, I do like pink, so I'm gonna start with the pinks. Um, let's see. I like warm colors, so I'm gonna bring out a couple of warm colors. Cool. And I'm gonna be trying them out right over here. Right kind of in front of the camera, but not really. You know how I am with my camera work. Not very good. So these are the colors that I chose. Doo -doo -doo. 
how do you pronounce that? Fuchsia? Possibly. Sunflower yellow and neon pink. Neon pink? To me, this looks like an orange, so I don't know if I grabbed the right one. I want to try the chiseled side just because I prefer that. I don't know why. I just put on lotion and I can't open the pen. <gasps> just gonna do a line. That cannot be a neon pink. Who named this color? This is an orange. Like a salmon y color. I'm trying to see how much they can build upon or how much you can layer this. Pretty good. Also, I don't know if I'm using the right type of paper for this. Um, I know a certain paper helps with like blending of the colors. Like, I want to see if I can blend these two. I don't know why I chose these colors, but this one's a little bit overpowering. I could just barely notice the smell. These are alcohol based, I think. I should probably look into that before I say anything. Where's the paper? Yep, alcohol based ink. So there is a bit of a smell, but it's not at all, um, what's the word, strong. Like at, like I barely notice it. So that's pretty nice. I personally don't mind like <laughs> alcohol smells. I don't know if that makes me sound like, <laughs> you know, into that sort of stuff, but I'm not. But I, yeah, I don't mind the smells too much, but yeah, this isn't, I'm, I shouldn't be sniffing them. I'm sorry. This color's so pretty. Look at how like evenly that goes out. That's so nice. I wonder if you guys can tell how bright these colors are, but they are so bright. They're so nice. Let me try one of the more like softer colors. Like, ooh, this is a good one. Arctic blue, very soft blue color. Let's see how that ink, oh, that's so nice. Beautiful. So yeah, I definitely recommend you swatch your own just because you see what that neon pink looks like. Actually on camera, it looks pretty similar, but in person you can, there's a lot, it's a lot brighter, a lot, well, oops, <laughs> there it is. It's a lot brighter, more saturation on paper versus right here. Can you tell on the camera? Oh God, it looks the same. I look like a liar. Well, I'm not lying. I'm just saying, please watch your colors yourself. But uh, I'm so excited to start actually coloring. So let's get back to my picture. This is gonna be more of a speed painting situation. I will be narrating, uh, maybe, uh, sometimes. So yeah, enjoy this speed paint of my not so great <laughs> traditional art.
guys, I'm so mad. I, I mean, I'm not that mad. Really, I'm not. But I've colored so much and I didn't realize that <laughs> I should have realized this. But this, uh, can you stop moving the camera, bubs? This comes with, oh my god, you can't even see it. Oh my god. Can you read it? It's a blender pen. It's a blender pen, you know, to help blend colors. I use it a little bit. It's a little pink. But, um, yeah. So I've just been coloring and not blending. And this would have helped me a bit. Again, the paper I'm using is, like, super cheap. So it's not doing the markers a lot of favors. But, um, yeah. So in case you guys were like, man, this this pack of markers would be great if I had a blender pen too bad I don't have one and I won't buy it now you can buy it because there's a blender pen uh, drink some water every time I say blender pen it's good for you Well, I hope you guys don't mind that I turn off this beautiful music to go over the markers. I just finished using them for the first time. I honestly really like them. I thought they were super fun. Um, since they were my very first time using art markers, my technique wasn't that great. You guys can see I did like the straight line technique thing, so it turned out a little streaky. Um, but even in the finished product, you can't tell too much, which I think is great. I did watch some tutorials, so now I know the correct technique. So hopefully I should be improving rather soon. But yeah, the pigment was great. None of the markers were dry at all. Everything came out like super smooth. Overall, great product. And the pricing is really good too. Um, the marker set that I'm using, the 60 set, is actually $69.99 if I'm correct. Which means that each marker is about, let me do the math in my head, definitely. Each marker is about $1.17 each, which is really great pricing compared to other brands that I've seen. But yeah, all their products are priced really well. Um, I definitely recommend you go check out their website. I will actually have the links to their websites down below in my description box, so go check that out. And I also am an affiliate. I have an affiliate code and stuff. You guys can enjoy 10% off your next purchase. So if you want that 10% off, that will be down in the description, obviously. But yeah, overall, I really do like this product, like genuinely, and I'm so excited to improve on them. I've always really wanted to like improve in my traditional art, and I just never got around to it just because of me being lazy and also not having the right materials. And now I kind of have no valid excuse to not improve. So yeah, I will be making more speed paints using these markers. And maybe I'll improve enough to maybe make some tutorials on them. Maybe if you guys would like. So that <laughs> will hopefully be in the future. But until then, if you guys want some great tutorials on how to use Arteza markers, you can go onto their official YouTube channel. I will have a link to that as well in the description. But yeah, they have tutorials on how to use their products or, you know, like arts and crafts tutorials, they have speed paints, they have a lot of stuff there. Highly recommend checking it out. It's really nice to just have in the background um, while doing art yourself and it's great motivation and inspiration for your own art. So yep, check them out. Anyways, thank you so much to Arteza for sending me these markers to review. I'm losing my voice. <laughs> I really appreciate it and uh, yeah, thank you so much. Anyways, thank you so much to you guys for watching this video and for sticking with me to the new year. I am looking forward to uh, what this year has in store for me and for us. So thank you so much for watching. Please be good outlets and I will see you guys next time. Bye.